Severe weather leaves a trail of damage throughout the Arklatex this morning. It is tonight's top story. We begin in South Shreveport where a man and his two-year-old son survive a 100-foot tall tree crashing into their home. NBC 6's Shirley Busico joining us now live from the scene sharing the story. Shirley. That's right, Dan and Jackie. As you can see behind me, the tree is about three feet wide and 100 feet tall, and it crashed into the center of Zachary Blunk's home. He was able to think quickly on his feet, and fortunately, he sought shelter with his son in the bathroom. Zachary Blunk and his son were almost out the door when the unthinkable happened. A 100-foot tree fell right in the center of their home. Um. So everything just crashed inwards. It was a loud, huge noise. I immediately grabbed him, spun around, and we went to the bathtub. There, Blunk used his body as a shield to protect his toddler's son, Ethan. He says in that moment, it was fight or flight. I mean, at that point, it's, it's just kind of protect him, you know, keep him safe. Blunk says he felt something was looking out for him. Typically every morning he watches TV with his son in the area where the tree fell. We'll watch, um, you know, his TV shows. And right now there's a uh, beam in the middle of that chair. But for now, the only thing on this father's mind is his son. With, with him being here, you know, it's protect him. That's all that matters. So kind of have to. It is unknown when Blunt can go back into his house as it is deemed unsafe. And as far as his son goes, well, he's okay and is currently staying with his grandparents. Reporting live in Shreveport, Shirley Busico, NBC6 News. Well, thank God they weren't hurt. Thank you so much, Shirley.